All right, so we went back to the ticket office because I was thinking, you know, it doesn't say on their little sign that children have to pay full price, and it doesn't say children get a different price. It just has one price. So I was thinking about it. I said, you know what, let me get on the Internet and see if there's like a something on the Internet about children discounts or whatever. So I got online. Again, it was a little bit difficult to sift through all the information, but I did find someone had posted a link because somebody else had asked another question similar like my son is eight does he have to buy a full price ticket and someone provided a link so i clicked on that link and was reading all the information and it, the way it read it said that anyone under 11 and under within a company an adult gets in free so i thought well if i buy the full price ticket for 27 euros then we can do all the buildings and the children just get to go along and that sounds reasonable it's still really expensive to go in a museum there's a tower but for the three of us once in a lifetime deal sort of like the Eiffel Tower you know I would do it so we walked back over to the ticket office which is in that building went in there and asked the man about the children he says no everybody pays full price so again if you just want to go up the tower it's 20 euros a person it doesn't matter how old you are it's insanity if you want to do all the other buildings, with excluding the tower, it's only 10 euros. But if you just try to buy, if you, I mean, it's so crazy, man. They like make you pay so much money to go up in the Tower of Pisa. And it should be really frowned upon by people. People should not participate and pay that price. You ought to boycott them because I explained to the man that this is probably the first museum that we've been to in the world where children have to pay full price and to charge 60 to 80 euros to access their museums it's stealing money and he was like well it's the same if i go somewhere and it's not the same no matter where you go um, we've been to museums every country not even the eiffel tower is not this expensive the children get like seven dollar tickets to go up the eiffel tower i had to pay like 28 but the kids got like seven euros this is the only place that children so far that children have to pay full price there's no discount and their attitude here sucks because they just shrug it off and they say well if we go somewhere we have to pay full price and that's just a straight-up lie it is not like that Mexico children get in free everywhere um, and adults only pay like four dollars or four euros same thing in Paris, Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, children get in free. Um, all over all over the place, everywhere we go, the children always get discounted tickets. So the fact that they're not doing that here on at the, the Tower of Pisa is it's unacceptable. And people should not come here with the expectation that they're going to be able to go in the towers and take their children and it be reasonable expense because it is not. So we'll just have this experience. The children can, you know, learn from it and then our opinions of this part of Italy will be based on these type of experiences, unfortunately, because we, we don't come here to be disappointed because they want to stick their hands so deep into our pockets we come here to have these cultural experiences and to see these iconic buildings and to, and to just enjoy the planet that we all get to live on. And then you get a few people who control access to these historic buildings and they make, they just ruin the experience because it's just ridiculous. I mean, think about it, man, 60 to 80 euros to go into a museum. It's the most insane thing, but they can take it and they can suck it. That's that's all I got to say about it. There's the tower, and we're leaving from here. Bye.